winning the war in your mind. A lot of the times we have thoughts, we have intrusive thoughts, we have lustful thoughts that sometimes we can't overcome, that we allow to take over. And the flesh is hard to, flesh is hard to deny sometimes. I know, because when I make these videos, a lot of times I talk about things I go through as well. Maybe things similar to everyone else who's watching this video. I'm telling you, intrusive thoughts are something that's very difficult to get rid of because we go through everyday life and sometimes our hearts can be unguarded and sometimes we can be left, you know, sometimes feeling unholy and oftentimes our thoughts control our lives and our thoughts can lead to different parts of our lives going into different directions. I want to let y'all know that not only am I going through the same thing, but I'm sure some of y'all are going through the same thing as well. I want to let you know that turning to God and asking God for forgiveness is your first step, but recognizing that those thoughts is the first key step to overcoming it. I want to read a little devotional for you all. So, a lot of times we have these thoughts and they control the directions in our lives. Now, Paul wrote this in Philippians chapter four, verse eight through nine. And he says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace be with you. So, whenever I'm reading this, I know I know there's three different key parts. It says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, right? Whatever you have seen, the, though Paul is speaking this, right? God is the one who's putting this these thoughts into Paul's head to preach, right? whatever you have heard from me or seen, right? So God wants us to put his actions or put his words into practice, right? Into action, right? And a lot of times our thoughts can overcloud us. A lot of time our, our many lustful thoughts can, can block a lot of stuff. And I've been thinking about this, making this video because a lot of people have been asking me to do it. Yes, if y'all didn't know, I do read my comments. I do. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I had to like pray about making a video like this for a little bit, for a while. And I finally, you know, decided to want to make this video. Um, this video, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to guard your heart from lustful thoughts. But not only that, you know, how to have positive and uplifting thoughts. And I want, and you know what, I'm gonna go outside the Bible a little bit. So these thoughts that we have on a regular day basis are from what we see, from what we hear, from what we, you know, what we allow ourselves to think about. And one of the key things that people don't recognize is about guarding your heart is this is what you need to guard. And it's something that on a regular day basis, especially, I mean, it's at all ages, but especially at the young adult age, it can be a challenge. It can be a challenge for sure. And a lot of the times, these same things that we are thinking about is what's keeping us away from Christ. And I recognize this a lot, like, especially like when it comes to relationship stuff, it happens a lot. That's why like relationships are so difficult. And being a Christian and, you know, trying to have a girlfriend and, or, be, you know, having a boyfriend as a girl, vice versa, right? It could be difficult because those intrusive thoughts, trying to keep everything pure, it could be it could be a challenge. But I want to let y'all know that what God told Solomon in Proverbs chapter twenty three verse seven is, "For as he thinks in his heart, so is he." Right? However, God thinks, or however man thinks in his heart, is who he is. Right? So if you're lustful all the time, twenty four seven, you're a lustful type of person. If you're a lazy person, if you think lazily, that's not a word. If you think lazy, then you're a lazy person. If you think positive, if you're uplifting, 
you're where God wants you to be, then that's who you are. Your mind is a, think about this, our, our brains are a muscle, right? We have to work at, we have to work our muscles. Whenever we read books and stuff, we work our muscles, right? We wanna fill our muscles with the right things. When we eat food, it gives our brains even more strength and nourishment. When you eat bad foods, it gives your brain a bad nourishment and a bad feeling. When you fill your stuff, when you fill your head up with bad things constantly, 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 and you never fill yourself with purity, that's when your mind struggles. That's when your mind weakens. And yes, we all fall short of the glory of God. It happens. It happens. You don't even know that, that it happens. It could just happen to you just now because of a thought you had, because of an action that you never even knew you just did. And believe me, bro, I, I, bro I, I've been there. Like, probably, you know, this week, like, I was there. But I want to let you know that God is just to forgive. First, you have to recognize the sin by talking to God and asking for forgiveness, knowing that, you know, what you did wrong. Turn away from that sin, right? And talking to God about it. And addressing it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to openly address it. Yes, you can ask people to pray for you, but that doesn't mean you have to openly address it to every single person. Because at the end of the day, that relationship and that, that personal relationship you have is between you and God. That relationship has nothing to do with what everybody else is saying, right? Because you know what the Bible says. And, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a challenge, man. It's a challenge. But I want to let you know winning the war in your mind and, and, and Filling yourself up with purity, filling yourself with, up with purity, doing, having right the right thoughts, the right positive, uplifting thoughts. It's when it's, it's that's what's going to lead you to winning the war in your mind. But I hope you learned something from this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody because I know somebody needs it. I need to make this video and address it with you all as well. Um, share this on Instagram. Tag me in it. Any, your favorite clip, anything, something that you learn, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for watching. As always, God bless you, brothers and sisters.